Today, we honor a man with a somewhat confusing name who left a wonderful legacy. There is both a hospital and a university named in his honor, all built with his funding. During his life, in the first two-thirds of the 1800s, he was a staunch abolitionist. He even purchased a slave once, just so he could set him free. Our hero was one of 11 children born to a Quaker family in Maryland. When he was 20, he fell in love with a beautiful woman named Elizabeth, but they weren't allowed to marry because she was his first cousin. When he formed a business partnership with a man named Ben Moore, Moore left the firm, saying that our hero was too interested in money and not enough in human endeavors, a kind of Scrooge. But something happened to him that would change him forever. During the Civil War, he was a strong supporter of Lincoln. That put him at odds with many of his Maryland neighbors. He offered the Union the free use of a company in which he had controlling interest, the B&O Railroad. After the war, he got involved with a group that worked for the widening of streets and the bettering of conditions for the poor. It was during this time, as he approached old age, that he changed his will, earmarking nearly $200 million in today's money to set up an orphanage for African American children, and a hospital, and better training for nurses, and finally, a university. Today, all of those things bear his name, Johns Hopkins. No, it's not Johns hyphen Hopkins, not a joint venture of two people named Johns and Hopkins. His name was Johns Hopkins. He died on Christmas Eve, 1873. He was 78. I'm Dennis Staley.